You guys always tell me that you can beat me at footy tic-tac-toe or football quizzes. Now's your chance to test it out in a prediction league that I have created with kickoff by Zuju. It is absolutely free to join. There's no betting aspect whatsoever with this. And all you've got to do is predict the upcoming football fixtures um, coming up in the calendar. And whoever comes top of my league has a potential chance to win a £100 football shirt. So a really great opportunity to click a few buttons, you know, make an account and you can win a really nice football shirt from the current season. So great opportunity for you guys to uh, win a very nice football shirt. And uh, yeah, obviously it will have a lot of fun seeing if you can uh, beat me at the lead. It'll, it'll be a little bit awkward if I finish top of the leaderboard. That's all I'm going to say. So hopefully that isn't the case. Hopefully one of you guys that do join the league, you can leave a uh, comment of your username in the comment section and I'll add you to the lead. If you look out for the league invite, which you're on the app and signed up and all that good stuff, you can start playing once you're in my league and uh, see if you can get to the top. So make sure you do check out the link. It is down below. Hello, welcome to Football Tenable, the series in which you're looking for 10 different things from a football related category. And today we're joined by Oakley. How are you doing, mate? Doing well, bro. Doing very well, thank you. How are you? Not bad at all. Um, it's crazy. It's already been a month since uh, Christmas. Uh, this year is already very much underway and uh yeah we're for a tenable would you like to go first or second lay it on me first mate gonna do the time around sometimes i use them sometimes i don't it depends on the categories i guess but uh we've got a five minute timer to kick things off mm -hmm. under under the extra pressure maybe you'll crumble well, let's dive into your first category and what i'd like you to name me oakley are footballers to play for four different premier league teams and your time starts now four different premier league teams yep uh, wow, that's going to be quite... Okay, Anelka. Nicholas Anelka is a good one. Chelsea, City, Liverpool and Bolton. James Milner. James Milner, the one and only. Brighton, Liverpool, Villa City and even Newcastle. He's got five. Now, this is where I actually... I'm already like hit a bit of a flipping road. Yeah, block. there's loads Joe of three. Joe Cole. Oh, he's had Liverpool. Yeah, and four with Aston Villa. Yeah, Joe Cole does work. Good Crouch. One. Peter Crouch. Peter Crouch, yeah, for sure. Elof. Jermaine Defoe? Yeah, get the two of them in. <laughs> Jermaine Defoe and Crouch. Um, okay, so that's five. 55 seconds, and you got five already. Okay. Um, oh, wait, oh, do I have lives in this one? Yeah, three lives. Okay, have I, I haven't got one wrong yet, though, have I? Not so far. Uh, okay. Do you want to try Heskey? Yeah, try Heskey for me, mate. Emil Heskey has one, two, three, four, five Premier five. League teams, five. exactly. Perfect. So I've got okay. six. How much time do I have left? Two minutes and 40 seconds left. See so about halfway. Oh, uh, ooh, Adebayor? Manuel Adebayor, I like it. He's definitely got four. It was it's four got... you asked for, wasn't it? It was actually, yeah. I'm looking... Yeah, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> been it's just Heskin, five. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Yeah, that does work. He did uh, play for Crystal Palace as his fourth club. I want to say Ian Wright, because I know that he's played for Forest. Palace, West Ham, and Arsenal, but I don't know if they're in the Premier League at the time. Like, I don't mm. know if the Premier League existed. So I'll, I will try that. I'll try Ian Wright. Let's see if this is right. Um... We... Less of that, please, Pingu. Ooh, 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 do you know what? Do you know what's real? Give me because it. Because he played before... Give me it. I don't think I can, actually, either oh. way. Okay, He's only got three. So I would have given you Palace oh. because that was pre Premier League. He's only got three. Era. What do you mean? He has so Pal he played for Forest though. Forest were they, were they Forest in the top division? The, no championship at that uh, point. Okay, fine. No worries yeah. then. Well. Gonna, okay, so I might as well. So that's one life down. I might as well try yep. Carlos Tevez, even though I'm pretty certain it's going to be wrong. Carlos Tevez, I think it's three. Yeah, I'm with, pretty sure it uh, is, but I'll chuck it out there anyway. Who yeah, West Ham. Shut between two. Has your second life gone? So this is my last life, yeah. Yep. I'm going to try Nathaniel Klein. Of all the people I thought you might have said, he definitely wasn't one. Um, got Palace, Southampton, Liverpool. No loans. Nothing. Bournemouth. Them. Bournemouth. There you go. That's the one. 10 seconds. Throw 10 out a name. seconds. Okay, I'll say Mark Schwarzer. Mark <laughs> Schwarzer is a great shout to end off with. It should work as well. Um, basically, Nathaniel Klein, I was looking through his career. Start yeah. of his career's championship at Palace, so I was going to take it away, but obviously no, he's at Palace now. back he now. now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I just had to, uh, yeah, four for Klein, and uh, I'm sure Schwarzer has four. Yeah, four, four for uh, Schwarzer as well. Middlesbrough, okay. Fulham, Chelsea, and Leicester. So did also... I, mean, I, did, I did pretty well. I think I've got nine. I think that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine indeed. Well done. Great start. And yeah, let's go to the next round. Right, let me. 
what I would like from you are 10 top or golden boot winners from the European Championship. Because it's the Euros from the Euros. Yep, golden boot Euros. Ooh. Yeah. Let me start off with a bit of a weird one, but I'm very sure it's right. Alan Shearer. The 96. It's tenable. Yeah. Don't know why I started there. It's such a weird <laughs> starting place. Uh, probably should start with the previous one. Sometimes the newest ones ch choke you up. Yeah, because obviously Kane got it for the World Cup, but I don't know if he got it for the Euros. I don't think he did. It might have been like... Uh... We'll try Cristiano Ronaldo, see if he was up there one year. Cristiano Ronaldo is tenable. Nice. Have I got a five-minute timer on this as well? You have. Yeah. Um, let's try a bit of an older one in... Rudy Voller. Rudy Voller. Be like 90s. 90s. I'm Might not even. seeing it. No. And if, if it's no tied, by the way, I will give you it, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not seeing Rudy Voller there, mate, no. No worries. Let's try Antoine Griezmann. Antoine Griezmann is tenable. Yeah, 2016, I thought he got it, didn't he? Yes, sir. We'll try Thierry Henry. Thierry Henry? Sorry to say, he's not. Yeah. It might be, tra it might not be. A Frenchman for that 2000 win, to be fair, though. It's 2012. Ooh, Mario Balotelli. Mario Balotelli is not tenable, mate. That is is he not in 2012? Life. Oh, dear. Not done well with that at all. I don't think who it would have been in 2012, then, if it wasn't Balotelli. Because he did I'll get be honest. I'll, I'll be totally honest here. I actually thought... I thought this would be easier than it has turned out to be. Yeah. I it's, did. It's more... So I do feel like a bit of a shark, once again. <laughs> Stay through the tricky uh, category. Yeah. Right, the next category, Oakley, is to name me 10 Croatian players to play in the Premier League. Is this timer? No timer. All the time you want to uh, okay. think it through. 10 play, ten Croatians to play in the Premier League. Okay, so we'll start with Lovren. Dejan Lovren is tenable. Modric. Luka Modric is tenable. And I won't lie to you, mate. We're about out from there. Yeah, that's what I mean. There's, yeah. there's about four or five good ones and then get a bit harder. Oh, not leagues, sorry, the Croatian team. Even even now, it's pretty bad. Mm -hmm. Croatians in the... Okay, Kovacic. Matteo Kovacic is tenable. That's a good one. There is actually 29, I think, to choose from. But obviously, there's really? a lot. There's a few in the 90s. The issue is, I'm like getting like my... like I almost just said Suchek and Kufal there, but obviously, that's a mm. completely different country. It's just like the flags. I'm trying, trying to look at the flags. I am actually, honestly, I'm trying to go back to FIFA. That's where I'm actually basing this all off. I'm trying to like scan through as many cars I can think of. Does Rakitic ever play over here? I think it might be worth just to guess at a life. I say Rakitic. Ivan Rakitic is not tenable. He's never played in Zapram. Just I just have nothing, nothing floating about mm. in my brain, mate. There is one more current. I'll give you that. One and more then the current rest. player. Okay. Yeah, and then the rest are previous. I'll say Kramerich, mate. Use up another life. Andre Kramaric did play for Leicester City, so that is tenable. Uh, wow, is tenable. That's so lucky. Not the best of time at Leicester, but uh, has obviously done well in the Bundesliga now, off and on. So lucky. Based on the fact that we've only got one wrong so far, I may as well try Brozovic, try to keep this moving along. Brozovic is not tenable. He's uh, pretty much all Syria and then Saudi League now. Is it the keeper I should be getting, Kingu? Uh, no, no. The current one. Fine. I'm going to say Subasic. Subasic, the goalkeeper, I don't think is tenable. Pretty sure he's never played in the uh, Premier League, unfortunately. So that's your final life gone. Yeah, just uh, Monaco and uh, I want to say Hadj, Hadj Duck split. That's how you say it in Croatia. It, it's, it's something like that in Croatia. Uh, do you want to gamble those lives or I mean, honestly, just take your four points? To be, to be totally honest, I don't think I've got another guest to be another honest. name yeah no, not really i'd like to hear here let me lay the players on me the current one is also at manchester city oh gosh good Vardio. there we go yeah yep. well the FG's thing is I, mean, like, like... I could i could have sat here for 15 minutes and if it's not in my head it's not in my head no so no no that's what i mean is, yeah. yeah fair enough and then the the one that's just left in january um is ivan perisic has just left spurs oh of course yeah they were two really easy ones i should definitely yeah i think there and then a bit of an older one, Nico Crenshaw at Portsmouth and Tottenham. Not, I, Obviously, I, know, I know the name, I wouldn't have got that though. Uh, Eduardo at uh, Arsenal, you know, the Brazilian that became Croatian. There's no chance, I, was, I would, ever, I would no. never have said Eduardo for Croatian, mate. Not um, a chance. Bedrin Korluka 
he, he would have worked as well. I, I know the name, but I wouldn't have got that. Yeah. Which is and then Kalata Carr, the centre back. And there is Orsic at Southampton. Did it like six months that's, there. That's who I was going to say. Orsic. What, what position did he play in? Uh, winger, he's left a winger. Wing. Is he the one that? Came, yeah. he's, was he the one that was like absolutely smashing it at Zach? Was it? Was it Zach? Yeah, that was flying at, yeah. Yeah, as a grab, and then came Damn. over. I should have said that. I was actually, gonna, I was actually tempted to say him. From yeah, my and then an old. I don't know if he is still at Nikon. Davos Suka played for Arsenal. Um, Did he? That's yeah. poor from me. That's really That's what bad I thought. from me. Yeah, and then Igor Stimak for any Derby fans out there. Current I... India manager. Didn't even know that Sue could play for Arsenal. That is so bad. No. Nah. Yeah, I think it's a good one because it's like you get like the five quite, you get the ones that you get quite easily, but it's these extra ones. Um, there's like Kalinic, the striker, he played for Blackburn. Uh, Jelovic, if you remember him at Everton and oh, West Ham. Oh, he played for Arsenal for a year, like when I was eight. Not, not so yeah. I wasn't, yeah. I wasn't even watching Arsenal. Uh, but yeah. Not too bad. Gets you on to four. Puts you on the same level as me. So depending on how this next round goes, Oakley, you got uh, the scores might be level. Round, didn't you? I think. Yeah. So I mean, you've done like the same kind of level there. Yeah. So, in that you, round, so. you can you can get all of these correct, and it will be will be equal. Okay, mate. So no time limit on this. I would like you to give me ten golden boot winners from the World Cup. World Cup golden boot winners. Lovely. Yeah. So I made that um, easier for you this time now. A lot yeah, easier. All time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll go with Harry Kane. I mean, the last ten is probably what I'm going to do anyway. To be fair, okay. It's like one or two that stick out or not. And we will go for Kylian Mbappe. Yes, indeed, mate. I have missed the most recent World Cup though. I'll go Miroslav Klose first. Miroslav Klose is correct. Because yeah, I don't think I think Messi got best player at 2014, but not the goal. He might have got it though. Um. And before that, 2010, we'll go for Fernando Torres. Fernando Torres is not a no. I just thought he might have had the Euro's end for World Cup Golden Boot, but no. I know Diego Forlan had a great 2010 World Cup. It's whether he got the Golden Boot or not, because they might not have got further enough. So I got Kane and Mbappe closer. Let's go for Eusebio for the 60s. Eusebio. Go on, scroll back. He is on the list, mate. Well done. He He's is a terrible. dude. Lovely. That's a, that's a nice one. That's a very nice one there. Do you know what I'm going to do? 1982, Paolo Rossi. Paolo Rossi is on the list, mate. That is a Lovely. very nice, very nice bit of knowledge right there. So still, always retain that information. Oh, do you know what? I've not even said it yet. Another Englishman, uh, Gary Lineker, 86. Gary Lineker is on the list, mate. Lovely. Doing well. Doing well. Six so far. Only one life yeah. down. 2002. I'll go 2002, actually. Or nine. Oh, nine nine it, then. is on the list, mate. Very yeah. nice. You're racking up these points. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Struggling with 98 in 2006, weirdly. Let's just try Maradona. Did he win it? Maradona it, it, is not. No. What a fraud. Handballs it and doesn't even get a golden boot. <laughs> it's the recent years as well. It's like 98 and 2006. I should be able to get, but it's so many players that it could be. Mm-hmm. Yeah, looking at this list again, I think I might have got six. I know I would have guessed possibly two. Yeah, do I say? Let's try a bit of an older one in Pele. Pele is not. What a fraud as well. Scores against his kids and adds into his record. <laughs> uh, oh, cash, cash that in then. In? Cash in yeah. seven. So you actually, it's funny. You said Miros had closer for 2014. He actually got it in 2006. 2014 right. was James Rodriguez. Um, do you remember he had that really good World Cup? Yeah. That's where Real Madrid signed him, I think, or Bayern Munich. One of the two. Something happened around then. Um, mm -hmm. Davo Suka, 98. Don't know if he was running through your brain. I thought it was quite funny. No, that's, yeah, 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 I just said him two just minutes ago. Him, exactly. Um, <laughs> then you had uh, Stoichkov and also Oleg Selenko in 94. Salvatore Skiat. Skiat? Oh, Scalacci. Yeah, Scalacci. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Um, who else? M Gerd Muller might have been a guest. Ah, yeah, Gerd Muller. Yeah. And then, so you've got Guillermo Stabile, who's the Argentine Stabile. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't really know how to pronounce it, I'll be honest, you guys. I'm sure you're well aware of my pronunciation by now. It's absolutely terrible. Leonidas, mm -hmm. 1930. Like, these are old ones, sort of thing. But yeah. yeah. the um, I think you did well, though, mate, to be fair. 
really, really mm-hmm. well. Really, really well. Pele, plus, not Pele, sorry. Eusebio is a great shout. Paolo Rossi is a great shout. Pele um, came runner up, to be fair, in 58. Yeah. That's something. There you go. Final round, buddy. <laughs> All right. Your category is to name me 10 players to play for Tottenham Hotspurs who have won trophies after leaving Spurs. After leaving? Yep. Oh my. Actually, that should be quite easy. They all do. That's a, that's the easy way around. Yeah, yeah. They don't win anything at Spurs. I'm going to start off with two players I said previously. I'm going to start, I'll say um, Peter Crouch and Jermaine Defoe. Crouch and Defoe to start off. I'm pretty sure Crouch won the FA Cup with Liverpool. It's Defoe whether he's won a trophy with somebody. That's the uh, did he, question did Defoe, mark. Did Defoe not go? I mean, it doesn't have to be within the Prem, right? No, just any A trophy. Did Defoe, yeah. did Defoe not win anything with Rangers? And what? Whoa, whoa, only just we had one Scottish Premiership with Jermaine yeah. Defoe. Yeah, thank yeah. you. So come on, man, don't don't do me like that. I was like, what? I mean, it, just is bored. He's, he's, he's either one or he hasn't, mate. That's 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 all we need. Only just. <laughs> <laughs> so that's that's two correct, is it? Yep, two off the bat. Okay, we'll go with Christian Eriksen. Christian Eriksen winning. The Carabao Cup, I believe that is right, with Man United. Probably Carl, ones. Carl Walker and Kieran Trippier. Carl Walker, definitely. And Trips. What would Trippier he won win? Atletico. Atletico Madrid, they won La Liga, I believe. Yep, La Liga 2020 slash 21. Gareth Bale. Uh, Gareth Bale. Many of things. Luka Modric. There you go. It's actually quite, it's really quite alarming the fact that I, I'm breezing through these for my, meant to be like my arch nemesis squad. <laughs> like, and like I was struggling to, I couldn't even remember Guardiola or Perisic, yep. right? It's, it's quite, it's, it's actually, it is a concern. Now, um, I have got a couple more. They, they've just escaped me, but I'm sure they'll be back momentarily. Uh, Adebayor. Manuel Adebayor. What would he have won go through? City. Tottenham. Yeah. Yeah. It's whether they won the title that year or not. Runner-up oh, Champions League. Runner-up FA Cup final with Palace. But he did win a Copa del Rey there with Real go, Madrid. So he has he has won one thing. <laughs> I think doing this with titles would have been quite interesting. That would have been a lot more... Very Obviously, you get, you get your bail of Modric but, uh, and Walker. Would he would want something with Arsenal. Did Yossi Ben Ayoun play for Tottenham? And would it have been before or after us? I'm going to say Yossi mm. Ben Ayoun. Yossi Benayin did play for a lot of clubs, but I don't think he ever played for Tottenham. Did he not no, play for West, Tottenham? West Ham, West Chelsea. Ham? Yeah. Oh, no, that's frustrating. Okay, that's a stupid no life lost there. There's your first life gone. Eric Lamella. I think he might have won something very. I'm going to say Eric Lamella. Eric Lamella did win the Europa League, so that is tenable. I'm gonna say, I'm going to say Paul Gascoigne. Paul Gascoigne. If Great way to end things off him, if that does work. If not him, I'm gonna say Gary Lineker. I think. Oh, Gascoigne did win two Scottish Premierships Perfect. with Rangers. There we go. That does work. And there's your full tenable done. Thank you. Very nice. I think Lineker also. Yeah, I think he has an FA Cup, if I'm not mistaken. Would he have not? Did he not win anything with um, Barca as well? A Copa del Rey with Barca. Yeah. Uh, yeah, he actually won the FA Cup with Spurs. That was one of the many trophies. Yeah. There we go. Um, I'll give you a nice easy one here. I'm gonna. Oh, is it actually easiest though? Ah, stuff. I'll give it to you anyway, mate. Top ten all-time goal scorers for your team. Derby County. Yes, indeed. Mm. I probably should have researched this because I knew somebody would give it to me. At have some you point. never had this? No. Oh not. man, this is actually a good one then. How no. the heck have you never had this? I think because no. people probably think you're gonna know it. We will start off with the Bloomer all-time rugby scorer. Yes, very nice. Thing. About 380 also goals makes or something. a fantastic loaf of bread. We will then say, uh, one that Tom gave me in a Guess the Footballer recently, and he was amazed I didn't get it because he played in the 1930s, uh, Bedford. I think it's Harry Bedford. Harry Bedford, mate. Big HB. Love yeah. to see it. Like the way the points are all stacked up, you couldn't yeah, see. You're doing this just, just based off of pride. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, pretty um, much. What what's the lowest number on the like what's number ten got for example? One hundred and six goals, and then number, okay, we'll ele- n- number eleven has got eighty six. Uh, we will say Chris Martin then. Ooh. Has he got a hundred for us? I don't think he might not actually. 
Chris Martin, mate. It's Scottish, Chris Martin. Yeah, that's the Not one. Not to be confused with the one from Coldplay. <laughs> no, not that no. one. No, uh, he's got 76 goals on the Craig. 76, so yeah. Tenable. I'll say another one that's got, a, he's got an award. It's called the Jack Parry Award. Is he, is he tenable, Jack Parry? <sighs> Jack Parry is tenable, my friend. There we go. Very nice. I think there's another one with an award, though. Well, I, I'm hoping he's up there anyway. Sammy Crooks. Sammy, Sammy Crooks, Crooks yes, award. Sammy, Sammy Crooks is up there. I mean, yeah. that's very, very well deduced. Have you ever watched Friday Night Dinner? I have. Okay, so um, I can't remember the, the character. The, the guy with the dog, Will, with Wilson. Yeah. He always says, hi, and then someone's name. And Hello, also, Jackie. And then also you collect, some people collect these. Jackie. You also need them if you want to send post. Oh, ja Jackie Stamps. Jackie Stamps. There we go. Um, the I'll rest be of these, I'll be honest with you, the rest of these are really difficult. Yeah. So the, the one that I think should be up there for the 70s and what he did with, with us, uh, Kevin Hector. Oh, Kevin Hector is up there, mate. He's actually number two. Mm. Really? Wow. He is number two, yes. If, you if you're into your bikes, American, almost like American muscle bikes, very kind of... Uh, Big ones, yeah. Chopper handles. Har sort of Harley, thing. Harley, Harley Davidsons. Well, hey, listen, take that surname, brother, and mix it up. What have you got? Sounds like Blobby, surname Davidson. <laughs> I assume it's Bobby. <laughs> well, there you go. Bobby, Bobby Davidson. Bobby Davidson. Someone? There you go. Yeah. Bobby. Di hey, I love that. Is that someone? I have, yeah. <laughs> you've never heard of him in your life. You've done well here. You've got what? Seven, I think it is. Yeah. And that, it, uh, yeah, I'll be honest, I actually feel like I've shafted you twice now. Just a little bit. Um, but <laughs> equally though, if, 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 if we're, being, if we're being totally honest, it's not really my fault that your top goal scorers, the most recent one was from 91. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? That, that's, that's not my fault. I think you've given me Arsenal's top 10 goal scorers before. I didn't check the list before I did it. So I just, you know, I do apologise. Yeah. But were you a fan of 24, the TV show? Yeah. The lead character from that is called... Chat Bowers. There you go, my friend. Lovely stuff. So an actual person called Chat Bowers. <laughs> so you've got eight. I love that. The thing That's is, hilarious. 24. Fictional is, character. 24. 24 is such a, like... I feel like it's a niche. I think there's a lot of people watching yeah, this right yeah. now that won't have watched it. But like for mm -hmm. our, well, my generation definitely it was like one of the biggest shows going. Yeah, on Sky. Really that's funny. that's funny that his exact his exact name is Jack Bauer. <laughs> I thought you were gonna like say, oh, I need the Bowers bit, and then I need. <laughs> no, it just just is Jack Bauer. Oh, brilliant. Dear. I don't. I, I think I think we might just cut for the towel there, really clearly. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> I don't think there's anything else I, I can I do. Yeah, that's let fair me, enough. So we had Steve let Boomer, me have a Google. Kevin Hector, Jack Bowers, Harry Bedford. Jackie Stamps, Alf Bentley, Alan Durban, who's the Welsh chap. Oh, Durban. Alan Durban. Yeah, yeah. Maybe should, I should have maybe got that. But oh, well. I think I owe a word of apology. Mm. Um, to be fair, Chris Martin is 17th all time. That's not awful. It's not awful. However, He's I will say this. I didn't I didn't research this final question because no. obviously there's three here now. I had my two and then this third one, I just thought, oh, okay, I'll chuck this in. It'll be easy. I was actually meant to give you this one first, but I felt a little bit under pressure, and this was meant to be the time trialed one. Um, but hey, it is what it is, mate. It's worked out the way it has. I picked up not a win. Bad. I'm not going to apologise for that. All good. <laughs> Hopefully, you guys, did enjoy today's episode. Make sure you check out Oakley, <laughs> drop them a sub, and all that good stuff, and we'll catch you all next time.